Hello and welcome to the latest in our series of Near Me in a Nutshell. I'm delighted to be joined by Tracy Thompson today, who is an orthoptist from NHS Tayside, and she's going to share with us her use of Near Me in her practice. Uh, thank you very much, Tracy, for joining us. Uh, please can you tell us how you've been using Near Me in orthoptics? My name's Tracy. I'm an orthoptist from NHS Tayside. Um, I've been an orthoptist for the last 18 years and I've been in NHS Tayside for the, the last 12. Um, we use Near Me for a variety of different reasons. Most of them started through the pandemic. Um, obviously, we weren't able to see people in person for a, a while. Um, so as orth an orthoptist, orthoptic department, we decided how can we improve that? Um, we had lots of patients still being referred through to us, but we had no way of, of actually bringing them into the clinic to be seen. Um, so we decided that we would triage new patients um, via near me. We had some return patients that we, we saw via near me as well. Um, one example of my new near me's was a patient who I saw for the first time, a, a young patient who was referred with a possible squint. Um, as we got on to, to near me, the, the mum was very unsure about whether what we could do. Um, we just had the conversation about what we could do, what limits we had, um, but what, what else we could do. So I took a full history. I was able to determine what the problem was. I was able to see the child. I was able to get the parent to, to cover either eye to see if they, they objected to occlusion of either eye. Um, I was able to see um, from the video, whether they looked like they had a squint to begin with. Um, I was able to ask lots of different questions um, that give me the information that I needed to actually triage them, to put them into the, the, the most appropriate clinic. That the near me also gave a chance for the parents to be able to ask me questions. Um, so they will have had lots of different things from health visitors um, with information. They may know something from their, their parents uh, from a family history point of view, but they were able to ask me at that appointment before they actually were seen in person. Um, and that particular patient actually was that impressed with the, the appointment via near me that she put something on the NHS Tayside Facebook page at that point um, and lots of people were suddenly getting aware that we were able to do these things. There's been lots of challenges as we've gone through the, the near me journey, um, one being technology. Some people don't have the means to, to actually get online. Um, some people do have the means but don't understand it very well. Some people were a bit reluctant to do it. Um, the more we got the information out, so we developed patient information leaflets to, to go out with the appointment letters, which explain things a lot better. Um, and if we were not able to get them online, we had a phone number that we were able to contact them so we could run through the steps with them um, via the phone number or we could do a telephone appointment instead if we needed to. Um, it's, I'm a big fan of Near Me. It has its uses. Um, there are obviously lots of things that we can't do via Near Me. And now that we're back in person with a lot of appointments, um, we, we have obviously see the patients uh, that we need to in clinic. Um, but through the pandemic, we used it a lot and that has not changed. We still triage a lot of our patients via Near Me. Uh, we still do um, any exercises that we give out to patients, we will review them via Near Me. There's lots of different patients that we will review um, via Near Me service. And if you think of um, the size of NHS Tayside, we cover a square mile of, of 2,900 square miles, um, approximately 420,000 people within our service. Um, the, some of them will be seen by us. I can see those patients via Near Me from anywhere in Tayside whereas they don't need to leave their living room. Um, so it's just amazing that that, that can happen. Um, we've got lots of feedback um, about it, that patients prefer it. Patients are, are more comfortable um, in that situation. Um, it's sometimes very quick, very easy, um, sometimes not. One of the, the best examples I can give was a fellow AHP who actually attended her son's appointment while he, her son was at home with her with their, his father um, but she attended from her office so she was able to attend that appointment which normally she might not be able to um, 
so it, it has its uses uh, and for any orthoptic department that's listening to this um, I would totally recommend it. Um, Naomi is, is here to stay in Sayside that's for sure. Um, we I'm hoping um, from a digital point of view that who knows in the future there'll be more advances that we will be able to, to do different things as, as well as just talk to people and, and um, see them via the, the website um, that maybe we'll be able to, to check vision and different things like this but who knows what's to come um, we'll watch this space with that. Thank you very much Tracy it's been excellent to hear about innovative use of near me within your orthopedic practice um, if you'd like to know any more information about Near Me, resources, support or materials, please visit the websites that, that are listed at the end of this video and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.